address our response plan. Okay, do you remember our response plan? Uh, the COVID-19 one ERA SG United COVID-19 response plan that we make announcement on 2nd April 2020. You all still remember that? Okay, I hope you do. Because if you do, you will not react when others try to flash their elusive plan. Okay? And that is clearly a reaction from our response plan. Next. So I'll take this opportunity in division director meeting to address the support to the salesperson customers and the community, all right? And in support of the COVID-19 situation for all our ERA teammates through the ERA agency support program, all right? The ERA home warranty support, real estate salesperson income relief schemes and more. All right, first I would like to address the agency support program under Commission Advanced Scheme. All right. So why am I doing this is because I have received um, information from Division Director saying that uh, the management should address okay, what is circulated in the industry, particularly to all our agents, all right, that uh, other agencies have much better uh, COVID-19 resilient program. Okay, so let me address this so that all of us have a very clear mind, all right, and very proud of one ERA rather than react, okay, to what is elusive and painted to be better. All right, let's move on. First, all right, we as ERA has been supporting ERA teammates since 2013. That is way before 2020, all right? We are, we are talking about advanced commission scheme. And so far, ERA has advanced, not pledged, 10.7 million advanced commission scheme for new home, resale, and management. So in case we do not know, this is the amount of commissions that the company have advanced to teammates and leaders who has cash flow needs even before crisis time. So what say about crisis time? We will continue to do this all right, in commission advance scheme. So it's nothing new to us. Let's move on. Okay. In terms of new homes commission advance scheme, right, we have tied up with light pay seems Quarter 4, 2018. So prior to that, from 2013 to quarter 4, 2018, all the advanced commission scheme, uh, it's done through the buyer ERA. And if you still recall during the cursing times, we have cursing credit. Right? Even that is way before 2013. But when, when we came together and formed a back realty, since 2013 till quarter 4, 2018, ERA has been advancing commissions for new home. But quarter 4, 2018, there is a new company. And we have been advancing commissions as much as 4.5 million, right? New home transactions commissions uh, via like pay on an average of $15,000 per advance. Next. But these are the um, ERA advanced commission scheme procedures, all right, that I would like to highlight to you so that you have a clearer picture, all right, about ERA advanced commission scheme. So for new launches via LightPay, which is introduced in quarter 4201 prior was via ERA all transactions that is 10 weeks after OTP are eligible. So as long as you 
uh, any teammates have closed a new home, all right, that has 10 weeks after OTP are eligible for the funds. And there is, um, there's no initiative expiry date. So from now on, well, you can just go ahead and uh, ask for advanced permissions for the new homes. There's no expiry date on that. And each RES can get 15 to 80% of the net permissions receivable up to 100K. So interest-free, no management approval required and no supporting document needed or so. So uh, fourth point is that money credited is within three working days from application date. And the entire process from start to disbursement of funds is done digitally. Okay, number five is there's no undertaking and no MOP letter and no hidden cost right, for any cash advance. And number six is for the circuit breaker period, all right, uh, we have also came up with new initiative because prior to that, no limits to the number of applications. All right, there is no admin fee for the first $5,000 on the first advance commissions and also no admin fee for the first 2000 advance uh, commissions. So let's take a look at external agencies. All right, what is offered? The latest announcement of 30 million pledge, all right, in their resilient program. Out of that 30 million, 25 million is pledged in April, all right, to help agents in commission advance. So let me let me go through the fine prints and the pointers so you have a clearer picture what is their new launch. Advanced commission scheme. So only closed deals before 30th of June this year will be entitled. So each RES can get up to ten thousand dollars advance commissions cap, maximum ten thousand. All right. Even if you close a hundred thousand new home deals, the cap is ten thousand. Approval only granted to transactions that are exercised. There are additional documents that is provided to include proof of 20% purchase price paid and stamp duty certification. And the processing and approval of application seven days, no mention of payment credit. You have to sign undertaking not to resign and to pay all expenses incurred by the company, including reasonable legal fees and costs for any recovery commissions by the company. So I thought this is like a super MOP program. And number six is you can only submit one time application limiting to 10,000 across all the category. So pardon me, it is not new homes 10,000. It is new home and resale. All right. And indicating all transactions which they are applying for advanced commission the company will not accept multiple applications in these circumstances. So my question is, will there be 2,005 eligible applicants for the inflated advance commissions of 25 million pledge? Look, pledge doesn't mean given. It is not given yet. It is set aside. But 25 million divided by 10,000 each means 2,005 eligible applicants. So I have a question mark whether there are 2,005 agents doing home sales and whether that 2,005 agents qualify right, for the new homes cash advance. It's very clear that it's pretty inflated. Next. Next thing is about the advance commissions on sale and management fee via ERA funds, not pledge. Okay, 6.2 million commissions. And new homes resale transaction and management fee via ERA since quarter 4 to 0, 3, on an average of 18,000 per advance. Okay, we have done this since 2013. It's so it's good for me to share with you all these details so that you have a very clear mind. All right, and not react 
but to respond accordingly. All right, when you receive very elusive uh, resilient plan. So ERA advanced commissions. So ERA is the first real estate agency to introduce advanced commission schemes to twins two zero one three. And overall is ten point seven million, but for resale and management fee and new launches before light pay for new launch, all right, we have fund six point two million. And for resale, all transactions with OTP exercise are eligible. And each RAES can get up to eighty percent of the commissions receivable, right? Up to two hundred thousand. So, look, if you have closed a deal, a resale deal that is like three hundred thousand commissions, right? We advance up to eighty percent of the commissions receivable, up to two hundred k. Isn't that company? So, I mean, so good. To take the risk to advance even on resale commission, so money credited within three days, all right, from the application date, because we know that cash flow is very important, especially for you guys who are running your business. So other than application form, no additional supporting documents required, because we have all your submissions document, and rental transactions is also included. So some of the rental deals are really big, all right. And there's no limit to the number of applications. So let's take a look at others. Other companies, this is what they do for their resale transactions. Uh, the transactions exercise on and before 31st of March. And each RES only can advance $1,000 per transactions. Can you believe it? Only $1,000 per transactions, limited to $10,000 for each RES. So you need to have ten deals in order to accumulate ten thousand dollars. The processing and approval of the applications is seven working days. So no mention of payment of credit dates. So I mean, I thought it's cash flow problem. Then seven working days probably you'll be in trouble. So ours is three working days. And additional supporting documents required for HDB proof of resale registration date with HDB and additional notice for private and commercial STEM DD certifications. Rental transaction is also not mentioned. And RES is eligible to a one-time application. Same, the $10,000 is cross the board um, cap for new launch and resale commission advance, indicating all transactions which are applying for advanced commissions. So company will not accept multiple submissions in any circumstances. So will there be a, my question again, will there be Two thousand five eligible applicants for the later advanced commission of twenty five million, right? Now, if you take twenty five million divided by ten thousand again, would that be so many resale transactions agents that need help? Okay, next. Let's talk about management fee. So, for ERA teammates and leaders. Right. You can apply advanced management fee up to 80% of the receivable management fee. So we know all your receivable management fee. There's no limit on the amount per teammate. All right. The limit is only 80%. And monthly credit within money will be credited within three working days. And advanced management fee will offset from future uh, payouts. Okay, interest free, there's admin fee applies. And that 6.2 million advance include this management fee. Okay, let's look at others. This is what others do for management fee. Team leaders can apply the management fee right, on their last six months average cap of 50%. So limited to 10,000 per leaders, per leader. And the processing and is seven days, right? No mention about the credit date. The advanced management fee will offset in five installment in subsequent payout. And they have set up, set aside 1.2 million for their team leaders and advanced management fee. So if I go into further thinking of this, will there be 120 eligible applicants? That is 50% of team leaders earning more than $20,000 management fee per month. Half of the team leaders earns more than 20,000 management fee per month for the inflated advanced management fee of 1.2. 
okay, if we take 1.2 million divided by 10k, that means you have 120 eligible applicants that need help. Okay, like not true, right? Okay, next. Supporting ERA team leaders, 1.8 million loyalty growth dividends have been paid and distributed all right, to all team leaders, and it's not catch. Okay, so ER have done this for all team leaders. Next. So with regards to the loyalty growth dividends, so similar to advanced management fee, team leaders who need help may apply for 80% of the year receivable loyalty growth dividends. So we know that the auto payments of 50% of the previous year growth dividends every year, a balance of the other 50% will be paid five years time. So there's no cap on support plan for team leaders in commission advance, in sales, management, and loyalty growth dividends. So only 1.8 million has been, uh, over 1.8 million have been awarded automatically to ERA team leaders so far. Okay, the good news is in the year 2019, we have about 1 million loyalty growth dividends okay, that will be awarded. And 500k will be paid out this year. So all division directors, stay tuned all right, for the good news. All right, you may be one of them that will be receiving this loyalty growth dividend. Okay, let's take a look at others on their advanced pension funds. Can we draw 40% of their advanced pension fund cap of 10,000 per eligible team leader? So maximum payout is 50% first and the other 50% to wait 10 years to receive. See the difference? But team leaders can qualify up to maximum 30,000 of support plan, and limit to 10k for advanced con, 10k for advanced management fee, and 10k for pension fund. So set aside a total of 1.25 million for advanced pension fund. Now, another question that I want to ask is, will there be 125 eligible applicants, right? Will 50% of team leaders, I mean 125 is equivalent to about 50% of team leaders in the external agency, will 50% of all the team leaders eligible for the pension? And with performance in excess of the team leaders performance criteria, if you, ask, if you are uh, uh, senior team leaders, okay, your criteria is 2.8 million, for example, any amount in excess right then it is where the pension funds is uh, paid accordingly but for the inflated advanced pension fund 1.25 million pledge right there 125 eligible applicants uh, we are seriously doubt this okay next all right in terms of personal development so far era have invested quite a lot of money per year all right to help teammates on personal development and we will not stop doing this Okay, we have invested so far, not pledged, 2.8 million per year. Okay, next. All right. Personal developments in terms of trainings, renewal, and award recognitions. Okay, so far, the company has invested 2.82 million per year on ERA teammates. All right. And let's take a look at the Point one every year to encourage early CPD fulfillment. So we give away two CPD costs. Okay, not subsidized, but fully paid. All right, taken from 1st December to 30th April. And number two is that ERA pays 500K per year. Because if you take $38 per course that is attended by ERA uh, teammates times two times 7,001 teammates, isn't that? And then next is the annual renewal. The annual renewal is, is worth uh, 513.5 for the past two years. And that's about 2 million per year. All right. And for the last two years, we have been doing this. So for the last two years, it's actually 4 million. All right. 2 million per year if we take 283.5 times 7,000 years. And award winner pays zero for their. Advertisement award, all right, recognitions. Because ERA pays all the advertising costs. And that amount to 320,000 every year to recognize award winner. 
believe it. This is how we invest to recognize on our dinner. All right, and right now we have also suspended our deduction for 2021 APPC and the three quarter conference fee of 182. Okay, let's take a look at others who have pledged as follow. All right, training and convention subsidy pledge 1.7 million. All right, but I want to tell you the truth is actually they have made 3.65 million a year from agents. Why is it so? 50% subsidies for all CPD costs from 15 April to 30th of June. All right, company makes 425K this year. Because $25 per cost times two times 8,005 Without 50% subsidy, company actually makes 850,000 every year. All right, number three, the suspended auto deductions of renewal fee and will collect later this year. So the annual renewal fee is always payable and the company stands to make 2.4 million per year. All right, number four, award winner have to pay $138 each. If refuse to pay, will not be included as award winner. Can you believe that? So company makes from the award ads, that is 400k every year, monthly, monthly, it is 50 award winner, and that's 6,009, quarterly times three quarter, or 681 people, that is 281,000, and yearly, 818, that is 112,884, but that explains why there are so many photographs advertisement all right for their annual advertisement because the more advertiser more agents advertising the more revenue the company will collect and it costs 138 dollars each are we going to charge for our advertisement fee now let me assure you the era we recognize you era you don't have to pay for the advertisement once again i want to assure you you don't have to pay for your award. Okay, next, 2021 convention fee of 128. Very good. At least you pay back a bit to the agents. Okay, next, let's move on. Supporting business costs. $2 million room rental rebates, merchandise, and ERA points. ERA have invested more than $2 million, not pledged. Helping teammates on business costs since quarter two two zero one seven. Okay, let's take a look. What is all this thing? Next, all right. Agents office trainings and meeting rooms. They okay, take for example number one. MBSQ landlord has not announced any rental rebates so far to us. And we have been asking them, hey, government give you tax rebate, right? But they have not let us know yet. So we have not get our tax rebate for MBSQ office from the landlord um, and zero tax rebate so far. But ERA owns ERA A tax center. So we are the landlord. We give back 100% of the full 30% rebate of the office renter. So that works out to 30%. 10% discount for room for three months equals to 30%. Okay, so all rental rebate will be given back it's so already been given back to all office room tenants. And next is the training rooms, meeting rooms, ERA merchandise are all renewable by ERA points. ERA points. And for your information, the company you don't make any revenue anymore from the merchandise. All right? And ERA point has been awarded to all teammates on transactions and recruitment submissions. All right, which can be used to redeem for their uh, training rooms, renter, the merchandise, and other services. All right? And over 2 million ERA points has been redeemed since quarter 2, 2017. So, let's take a look at others. All right, for salesperson, HDB. Okay, this is what you need to know. All right, HDB Hub is the landlord for all the tenants in HDB Hub. And HDB has announced one month of this rental rebate for April 2020. One month is not 30%. One month is 100%. Alright? So other agencies announced 25% discount for room 
and fix sitting's rental for two months. So if we take two times 25%, that's equal to 50%. So in the other words, company keeps the other 50% from HDB rental rebate. So if agency claims that they set aside 100,000 subsidy on rooms and fixed sitting rental for two months, so is the company receiving 200,000 from HDB rental rebates? Number three, trainings and meeting rooms booking will be free for three months after restriction and limited from 4th May to 31st July. Obviously, uh, that is a good thing, right? At least don't keep everything that HDB rental rebates. Next, uh, with regards to community buildings, or it is not only during COVID 19 that we have been giving to the community. Right, we have touched and impacted many lives. We have made our contribution more than a million, not match. Right, for this while, let me explain to you. Next, right. under the ERA Love Initiative, our uh, community building is uh, CSR. So, ERA has contributed over 250,000 in various partners, such as the Singapore Association of the Deaf, right? The Ohama Ia Welfare Home, the Conservative Children and Community Services, the SOSD, the Business Time Budding Artist Fund, including Grassroots Community Outreach. So, a long time Platinum Award contributor to Palm Chair since 1999. We have also been a recipient of Share Achiever Award. Chess Award 2019. Um, a recognition for organizations with employee on share for their high participa participation rates. So it's not just company alone. Majority of all our staff are contributing uh, to ComChess via our salary gyro. And ERA has raised more than half a million to ComChess to date. And ERA has also set aside. 50,000 to ERA Student Foundation Bursary and NUS. Okay, so this is our latest uh, CSR initiative for undergraduates and also existing ERA scholarship program worth 100,000 is ongoing. Okay, let's take a look at others. Pledge for the community giving 200 or pledge 250,000 for the needy and frontline heroes. And also reaffirm 500,000 pledge to the community, which is very good, of course, to all the efforts of agencies. Okay, right now, putting aside all our differences, we are stepping ahead to help many that is in the front line. They are the unsung heroes. Big applause to all of them. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. What's more? All right, we have our 28 days online trainings. Okay, ERA has been conducting daily multiple online trainings both UAT and uh, CPD program. I'm very grateful for some of you who have sent me text majors, messages to show your gratitude and appreciations for all the efforts put in by the company staff. And truly, uh, much gratitude and uh, great happiness. Uh, and we have to show our gratefulness to all the unsung hero that is behind the back end, backstage working very hard to make all this training possible to all of us, right? All the stuff that is coordinating, making sure that the operation still goes on, right? Without fail, right? Big applause to all our staff. Okay, let's move on to the next slide, right? Uh, for the 28 days training program during this COVID-19 period, Yannick, can you move on to the next slide? Okay, we our multiple training programs are next. So external agency also brag about their daily online Trainings. And they are sending information like this to our agents. So why don't you reach out to them too and send them our slides and all our training schedules. Next. Okay. Talk about it's the um it's the unique home quarantine support that we have initiated. Alright, to help ERA teammates and customers. So allow me some time to explain to you in more detail again because up to date right i would like to share with you there is a couple of 
teammates, all right, a couple plus another one, that is issued with letter of quarantine. Okay, and we have, uh, and in fact, we have sent mails to them, all right, once we receive and check the eligibility. And once affirmed, we have been sending mails to them. All right, so we have been delivering three meals per day worth $100 during the quarantine period with a meal prepared by a Michelin staff and a big gourmet restaurants because also good halal. All right, so this home quarantine support, when I say eligible, let's take a look at the meaning. All right, because it's important for me to explain to you why that need to have criteria. Okay, as we all know, this virus is spread through contacts. And what we know best is within 30 days, all right, the chances of getting the virus through contacts is during that two weeks to four weeks period. And that's why we set uh, eligibility for salesperson to prove that they got the COVID-19 or rather in contact with people that during the COVID-19 and they issue a letter of quarantine uh, it's because of their cost of work as a real estate salesperson. The eligibility of a salesperson is proved by the submission of at least one transaction, all right, or the submission of at least one exclusive or at least one recruitment form that is submitted uh, and also paid for at least one coordinated marketing activities or conducted at least one company level training. And these are all within 30 days. All right, from the letter of quarantine. Eligibility of clients, so customers during the option period will also be eligible for our quarantine uh, scheme. All right, so for resale transactions, it refers to the date of option. All right, that is uh, to the date of the exercise option. And next is for new projects, it refers to the date of OTP, to the date of sales and purchase agreement. Now, as we all know, there is reissuance of OTP and they are not included. That's going to be a long time. And for rental transactions, it refers to the date of issuance of letter of intent, to the date of acceptance of letter of intent. And in the absence of the letter of intent, the options period refers to the seven days uh, leading up to the tenancy agreement. So it's worth $100 per day, so to the maximum of 14 days quarantine. But so far we witnessed that we, uh, some of them are not 14 days, some of them is like five days, some of them is like uh, three days. Well, uh, it is up to 14 days. So if you are three days, if you are five days, if you are seven days, then we just go according to the number of days. Okay, next. Oops, the other agencies got nothing on quarantine order. Okay, so agent have to have themselves during the quarantine order period. Next, RES income relief scheme, right? In short, known as real SERS. All right, let's move on. Okay, this program supports ERA teammates, all right? And we are giving five hundred dollars cash a day, hospital income cash relief funds. So ERA has pledged. And giving a cash relief fund of 500 per day up to 30 days to help ERA teammates during the period of hospitalization due to COVID 19 in the course of real estate work. So, once again, how to define that uh, eligibility? Move on to the next slides. Okay, I will explain to you further. All right, next slide, please. Okay, for that 15,000 cash. Uh, rather, the five hundred dollars cash payout per day times thirty days is actually fifteen thousand. All right. Uh, in addition to that, there's also a death benefits. All right, there is thirty thousand cash relief in addition to existing leaders' dependent scheme. So the eligibility of the salesperson include uh, the following: uh, thirty days prior to hospitalization, there is a case a transaction submitted exclusive listing submitted, a recruitment form submitted, and have paid the coordinated marketing activities and also conducted at least one company level training. 
Okay, next. Other agencies? Nope, there's no such benefits. Okay, next. So last, I would like to conclude the ERA's love and more. Okay, can we see the next slides? Okay, there are many initiatives that um, we have introduced and I've also tasked the creative teams to come up with more recruitment templates moving forward so that it is for your ease of personalize and send it to your external agency friends on all the good things that we have in ERA. All right, and recently I've also witnessed uh, a group effort Right, uh, Chi Seng and his fellow team leaders in uh, DFG have done very, uh, very good for highlighting all the advantages of ERA in their social media. Well, uh, much gratitude to all your efforts, and I think it's good effort, and good things have to be known to all the people in the industry. So, what is our leaders dependent uh, program? Okay, family to receive team leaders overridings until the date of the C65, if he's still alive, or two years effective from the date of passing if he was 65 years old and above, whichever is longer. All right, so that is the duration of payout. And under the leaders dependent scheme, it is actually additional uh, overridings commissions that is cut off from the company portions. Um, in, in addition to the overriding that is paying out to new uh, team leaders who take over the deceased team leaders team. All right. So number two is the ERA's 2020 recruitment package. All right. I'm sure you are very uh, aware that ERA will pay, has been paying the two years registration fee amounting to 513.5 for new joiners. Whether they are brand new, experienced, without income, with income, all right, we pay for their two years registration and renewal fee. And ERA uh, also provides six month complimentary trainings for all new joiners. All right, so the total package, all right, um, is very attractive. I think this is something that we have done uh, that makes all the different. And ERA Recruitment Plus, okay, special group package uh, for any joiners with income proof of more than 20,000 the recruiter receive cash of $500 and the joiner also receive cash of $500 to offset their MOP obligations to their agency so eligible criteria is last trauma income has proof of 20,000 okay and also we have that all the super tech tools that you can show it to your joiners they are under the website tech.era.com.sg all right this platform showcase all the things in my era iera right era pro era nobby and find property agent.sg and era project 360 all right example all the sales kit analytics era research and consultancy reports uh, personal web and project webs. These are all found and explained in tech.era.com.sg. Go and read it. And this is uniquely ERA. We are not afraid to show what we have to our competitors. So go ahead and show to all our competitors and invite them to join ERA. We have all the super packages to help them succeed. All right. And next is the best commissions and career path. The most attractive commissions overriding BD fees for project and resale. So with so much and better in every way, I think there is no reasons why we should hold back and we should reach out to more external agents and also to feel proud that we are in one ERA to take care of us before and after COVID-19. Alright, 